Council of Higher Gods met and decided that a slave race would be genetically engineered to do the labor for them. Enki was the Sumerian equivalent of the Greek god Poseidon and conducted experiments with the most advanced species on Earth, apes and monkeys. The first hybrid slaves can be dated to around 200,000 BC. With further experimentation, the gods genetically engineered the Homo sapiens. For the past few decades, molecular biologists have been examining and mapping human DNA, which has 35,000 genes consisting of over 3 billion chemical bases. It turns out that 97% of our DNA is junk DNA with no known use or function. Failing any other explanation for this shocking revelation, scientists are now considering the notion that our genetic code was written by an extraterrestrial programmer who wrote two versions of our genetic code, a big code and a basic code. Our so-called junk DNA is a hidden and dormant upgrade of our basic code. It is a clever, self-organizing, auto-executing, auto-developing, and auto-correcting software. In other words, the DNA that scientists have been calling junk DNA is really divine DNA. The facts show that our genetic programmer purposely disabled the big code and left us to exist on only 3% of our DNA. Like a broken radio dial which is stuck on one station instead of roaming across thousands of stations and frequencies, humans are stuck on one station called Five Sense Reality. There are about 250 unique human genes that are not found in any lower species. In fact, scientists have not been able to find any evolutionary basis for these genes. There are about 250 unique human genes that are not found in any lower species. In fact, scientists have not been able to find any evolutionary basis for these genes. According to Plato, the god Poseidon was so pleased with the human hybrids he had engineered that he mated with a chosen female named Clito and built a palace for her at the top of a hill near the center of the island. He surrounded it with rings of water and land to protect her. Clito gave birth to five sets of twin boys. Eventually, he divided Atlantis into ten districts, each ruled by one of his ten demigod sons. For generations, humans lived among the gods and demigods and multiplied in great numbers. They lived simple, virtuous lives as laborers, but slowly they began to change as greed, power, and sexual immorality corrupted them. To determine a suitable punishment, Zeus gathered the other. In the Sumerian accounts, the gods decreed that a flood would sweep over the cult centers and destroy the corrupt seed of humans and demigods. Poseidon was sworn to secrecy about the plan. When the gods opened the floodgate, Atlantis was a doomed paradise. 72,000 references to the flood are found in ancient writings from all over the world. Tablet 3 of the Atrahasis epic describes what happened next. In violation of his oath of secrecy, Poseidon warned Noah of the coming flood that would destroy humanity. He instructed him to dismantle his house, build a roof on it, and seal the upper and lower deck shut with bitumen. Why did Poseidon break his oath of secrecy and warn Noah? According to Genesis, Noah was 600 years old at the time of the flood, indicating that Noah was a demigod and therefore the offspring of Poseidon. After seven days, the flood waters subsided and Atlantis was forever lost beneath the sea. There is no possession more prized to the royal families of Europe than their genealogy charts. They treasure them above all else. 
The charts are their pedigree papers, which trace their royal bloodlines back to their divine roots. Over the millennia, the royal families have preserved the purity and divine powers of their bloodline by interbreeding exclusively within royal power circles. about royal family of England and the United Kingdom. One rumor that won't go away is that Queen Elizabeth II is an alien. She is thought to have type RH negative blood, which is believed to be the bloodline of the alien Anunnaki race. The March 18, 1985 issue of Time magazine confirmed that Prince Charles' blood type is, in fact, RH negative. Have you ever wondered why hemophilia is called a royal disease? The disease is caused by mixing the iron-based hemoglobin of humans with the copper-based blood of royals. Since the two don't mix, laws were introduced to ban marriages between royals and commoners. Everyone knows that copper turns bluish-green when it oxidizes, which is why the copper-based blood of royalty is rumored to be blue in color. One doesn't have to look far to find symbols of the divine worship and ancestry of the royal bluebloods. The British royal family's gold carriage features the giant-sized ancestral serpent god Poseidon riding on the back of it, adorned in gold and carrying a trident. It's no coincidence that the trident carried by the serpent god Poseidon is also carried by Satan. From the Sumerians, Hebrews, Greeks, and other cultures, we learn that the gods created humans in their own image. The Hebrew god of the Bible is called Elohim, which means more than one god. He says, let us make man in our image after our likeness. What exactly is the image of the gods? <laughs> In all of the ancient literature, the gods are described as having supernatural powers, advanced knowledge, and advanced technology. But what do we really know about their character? They are described with a dual nature, and their dark side is chilling. They are competitive, terrorizing, vengeful, punishing, power-hungry, egotistical, jealous, murderous, selfish, conniving, and bloodthirsty and they are willing to sacrifice parents, children, siblings, and anything that moves for the throne of power. The Hebrew God of the Bible admits to being a jealous God and warns humans that if they are foolish enough to put any other God before him, he will destroy them. He has a pathological need to be worshipped by humans through animal and even human sacrifice. In Numbers 25, he kills 24,000 of his people with a plague. He views humans who he created in his own image as evil, flawed, and sinful, and demands that they remain ignorant. His first commandment is, thou shalt not know. Finally, he seeks to destroy his sinful human creations in a flood, but shows his ineptitude when they manage to survive. There is no reason whatsoever to doubt the truth of the ancient Sumerian records which describe human-like gods living and walking side by side with humans. Nor is there any reason to doubt similar evidence from the Hebrews, ancient Mayans, Phoenicians, Chaldeans, Aztecs, Aryans, Assyrians, Greeks, and the inhabitants of ancient India and Tibet. 